Welcome to Whiskey Rut. This is the show where we taste, rate, and review different whiskeys. I'm Chris. I'm Sky. Oh, every time. We gotta stop saying names. Well, how I we say we don't we say are. names. They don't need to know who we are. Kay. They don't need to know our names. This is a great show. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rating system in place here. Three means that you are getting your bang for your buck. The whiskey is priced for the flavor. Four means that you're getting a little bit better whiskey for the price. And then fine is fine. Five is it's just fine. Five is just, just, just fine. It's just fine. <laughs> five means that this is a very good find for the money. Two is going to be, obviously, you're paying a little bit more. And then one's going to be, this is trash. You're paying way too much for it. What do we have in store for today, man? So today, we're going to be looking at two modestly priced scotches. The reason we chose these is we have a friend, Jin, who's from South Korea. He told Ooh, us... Jin! Shout out to Jin! He said that these two scotches are the most popular scotches in South Korea. And we're like, well, hey, let's taste them. And let's find out which of the two most popular South Korean favorite scotches are the best. Yeah. Which yeah. one should all of you in South Korea be spending your money on? And we single-handedly will determine that to today. Tonight! This day. Tonight! Do you want to start first? I'll start with Ballantines. I'll give you the you give, you, you give the So Ballantines, old, old scotch. Uh, dates back all the way to 1823. Started by the great George Ballantine. Uh, it's a blended scotch. It's blended with about 50 single malts, uh, about four single grain scotches. So that's a lot of blending. I don't even understand how you use that many and determine the flavor. It's crazy. It's It's been around a long time. Fairly difficult to find here in Colorado, but we find did this. find it. Yes. Dead shot! Dead shot. Hadouken. Where did you find it? Total wine. Total wine. Total wine. I've never tried it. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the Walker. The Walker. Red <sighs> Label. So Johnny Walker, Red Label. Established 1820 uh, by John Walker. And this is a blend as well. These are two old scotches blended. Like, there's really not much that I have on this. Red Label is pretty well known. Uh, a lot of people drink it. A lot of people use it in mixed drinks. Oh yeah, I should have poured it. My bad. Gosh, just, just so, do it. Just do it. While I'm pouring. So the proof on both of these, forty percent. What is wrong with oh. this? Oh. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Maker's Mark How does it feel? Again. Is this a trick bottle? <laughs> hey, don't look at me. I don't want to touch your nasty band-aid beverage. Okay, you do it. I had to do the last one. You do that one. Now, who's, <laughs> who's the man now? Who's the man now? <laughs> From this point on, we open the bottles do before have, we like, start filming. you keys or something? I don't. <laughs> There's a hammer again. Oh, that claw hammer's still here. <laughs> I'm so happy that the claw hammer has returned. Oh, God. Yeah, the little oh. little tabbies that break, they, they're not breaking. Oh, but there's whiskey coming out of it. Or is that blood? No, that's whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Chris got the pliers. It's gonna get got. Three hours later. Now that we finally got the cap off, it's out of the way, we can finally yes. taste the whiskeys. And this thing doesn't screw on anymore, does it? Yeah, we have to finish that tonight. It's just gently nestled on top. Should we, uh, Ballantines it? Ballantines! Okay, cheers, my friend. Cheers! That's terrible. There. That's good. I don't get, like, a ton of complexity. It's a mild peat at the end. Yeah. A little bit of oak. Maybe some could, honey. Yeah, honey. Like a light fruit, a pear. A little watery when I taste it. The honey and everything's not there. It just kind of finishes off with, like, a mild peat. It's not harsh. It's not like tanniny. Mm -mm. It doesn't kind of hit you in the chest. It's smooth. Much of the taste, I think you're getting most of it on the nose. Mm -hmm. But I will say for being such a cheap scotch, so this one sits around 16 bucks. That's cheap. And it doesn't have that like acidy, burny feeling that you would think you would get. For the price, yeah. I'd say it's pretty good. See what it compares to the Walker. Walk like a man. Smells intensely Nasty. smokier. Smokier. Mm -hmm. What is that? That smells Lye. weird. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> yes, we're preserving. You could preserve Borax. fish with this. Okay. Um, I don't know if my nose is broken. Broken nose. Shoryuken. 
Okay, this is really weird. You would only yeah. know this if you're from Colorado. I smell Casa Bonita in here. <laughs> oh, like that musty, yeah, like mossy, mossy, you know, in waterfall that just like emanates through the whole restaurant. So what you're saying is when you smell this, you feel like a man in a loincloth is going to jump off a diving board at any minute. Yes. And a guy in a gorilla suit is going to chase you. A guy in a gorilla suit is going to chase you. Chase you through a cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's intensely peatier than this one. You have a kind of a smoky, toasty. And Maybe this one I get more of an oaky. Yeah. More of a wood. Yeah. yeah. Same watery mouthfeel. You get more of the peat definitely Really on this shines one. through on that one. Yeah. yeah. This one's a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. It's also not as, it's not quite as well-rounded, I would say. It's weird because it's a little watery like this one, but it has more bite than this one. On the tongue, it really, I just get a peat. How many times have yeah. we said peat? We're like going to say peat so many times. Peat. Let's rate these, man. Yeah. You so, go first. Okay. So if we're going to say you're in South Korea, you're going to go buy these. They're both about the same price. What are you going to pick? I'm going to go with Ballantines for sure. Because I think it's slightly more complex. It's a little more well-rounded. At the mild peat, like lends itself to some other flavors. I'm gonna give Ballantines a four. Four fifteen to sixteen dollar whiskey. That's pretty easy drinking. That I'm gonna give it a two. Oh, okay. Because I, I don't. I, if you if you really like the peat flavor, I think this is the you'll like it. So I'm gonna give this one a four. Give that one a two. Okay. So, I'm going to say on the Ballantines, I'm going to give this one a four as well. So, I'm going to say that you're getting a little bit more with the Ballantines. The Johnny Walker, I'm going to give a three. Uh, for the price, I think you're getting exactly what, what you're paying for. But either way, I'd say at the end of the day, we would say this is the better bang for your buck. Yes. Thank you for joining us here at Whiskey Rut. Shout out to Jen for recommending these two scotches. I hope this is helpful. Again, if you like the content we're making, please like hit the subscribe button. You can find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Those will be below. If there's any whiskeys you want us to try, please let us know in the comments below. And as always, get, get out there, there right? Fatality.